Hey now, Mike Shaman here. And if you're trying to design an ebook giveaway page, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to show you how to hook it up as well. So let's jump right into it. I'm using the Divi theme with the Divi Builder. I'm just going to put a new row here with some text. Just going to be some dummy text. All right, so maybe you're doing an ebook. All right, and I'm just going to go to design and text, and I'm going to make it a bold. All right, and also I'm going to go back here and put git. All right, so if we go back to here, the text, I make it a little bit bigger. And let's center it and do the line height at one point. We'll do 1.2, center. All right, and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a, uh, I'll make this like a darker blue, I think. So let's go background. Looks like a good color. Okay, so I go back to text, go design and color white, put a little bit of a drop shadow on it. All right, and again, this is for my ebook giveaway or a ebook giveaway. So I'm gonna go here to settings for the row and go design and spacing. Just gonna zero out the top and the bottom, patterns and margins. Same thing for the top. Go ahead and go to design and spacing, zero out the top and bottoms. All right, and then you can just go back here and just add in your spacings. All right, I'm just gonna leave it like that for a second. Now let's go add a new row. And it's gonna be a double section here. And this section is gonna have an image on it. It's gonna be an image of this book. Going to design and alignment to the right. For right now, that's fine. All right, let's go over here and add an email opt in. All right, we'll have to edit this. Go to, um, let's go to it's a little call to action. Okay, and then go to email account. This is where you'll unhook your email account, account up. So whichever one it's going to, mine's going to get response. So you just hit add. All right, and then you'd enter your account name and your API key, which you can find in the back end of get response. All right, so once you find that list, okay, once you enter that in, you select your list Right, then the success action is the other part that you want to set up. You want to go to redirect to a URL, and then you want to enter that redirect URL here. Okay, this is going to be the download page, and I'm going to show you. And we're going to enter that in just a minute. All right, then let's go to background, and I'm going to do that for a second. And I'm going to go to design and fields, and we'll scroll down to field border width and go to one. And then I'm gonna go down to button. I'm gonna do a custom style. And the text color is gonna be white. The text size I'm gonna increase a little bit, but let's do background, it's gonna be orange. All right, and actually I'm gonna make the um, button say, uh, Get the guide now. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, all caps on this one. No icon. Do a little bit of a shadow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make a font weight to ultra bold. Actually, just increase this up a little bit and make this color a little bit darker. All right, and actually let's do the, the we forgot to do the text. We need a dark text, okay. And now we're, let's edit this text, ultra bold. Okay, and let's increase that. And 
and the line height. Okay, now let's go this text. We'll increase the text size just a little bit. And make sure that's aligned in the center and then the line height. All right. Now let's go to this button real fast and do a shadow on that. Let's get a little bit of depth. All right, let's increase that darkness. And there is a white border around that. What you know what? It, it doesn't look too bad like that. Just so let's just keep it like that. But actually the border radius, let's take that down. Alright, so now once you reach this point, if you want to get fancy with it, you can just do this. I'm just gonna add a um, design and or a content background. Make it white. And then if I go design and border. And just increase the border width a little bit here. And now I'll also go to spacing. And I go on the top and bottom 32, and on the left and right I'll go 32. Actually, I won't go 32 for this one, I'll go. Let's go 64. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. I like it. Okay, now what I'll do is I'm going to go up here to this section and go to this background, take this color, I'm going to copy that color, move back here to this section and go to background and add background color and I'm going to go to gradient, add background gradient. Okay, this top color right here is going to be this color, this bottom color is going to be uh, white. Alright, and then you can select your gradient direction here. Actually, let me put a check mark there. There's like a little border right there, something going on. Let me see what that is. Design and border. Alright, so we just had to zero that out. Now we'll go back to this section here and we'll do a little more spacing there. All right, so then we'll just go right here. Go to design and spacing. All right, that looks better. Then let's go right here to this section and go to background and go to the gradient start position you can lower it down like this if you want to do that if you want to start a little bit higher or if you want to to fade you can do that but just mess with the start position a little bit there. All right, let's save that. And then what we're gonna do is gonna to go to a new page. And this is just gonna be our thank you page or our download page, I should say, our giveaway page. Use the Divi Builder. I'm gonna to go to uh, choose pre-made layout and I'm gonna to go to existing pages. And I'm gonna to go to my giveaway page, the one that we just created. Or actually, I think that's the wrong page. Actually, let me do import. Actually, here we go. Your existing pages. Ebook giveaway. All right, I'm gonna go to blank page and publish. Then I'm gonna go to view page. Okay, so once you get this page loaded in, you can change this section right here. You have to, um, if you just go to plus and you wanna download it, you wanna do a button. It's going to be download now. All right, and then the link is going to be to your report. So if you go back to the media library 
and you put your report in here there or your PDF or whatever you're giving away okay and you go this copy link okay this copy link is I put my PDF in here that's where it's going to be so I just put my link right there and I'll go to check and what I'll do now is I'll go to this opt-in that we have and go design and button styles and I'll go to copy button styles all right now I'll go back down here to this button and go to design and I'll go to this button and I'll go to paste button styles paste button styles all right and then add the box shadow Okay, so now I'll delete this. Actually, if I go Control Z, I'm gonna steal this. Uh, no, this I'll delete that whole box. Now let's do this setting again and go Design and Button and I do Icon, Show Button Icon. Get the download one. to the left all right and then we're going to add if it does that what you got to do is add some spacing so if I go to alignment you want in the center but if I go to spacing on the padding on the left and right I'm just going to add usually I like to do 64 on either side or maybe a percentage maybe five percent Ten percent. Let's see. Twenty percent each side. So Fifteen. All right, and then you just want to check that on mobile. We didn't even check the last one on mobile. We can go through that in just a minute. As you can see, the the bun's a little bit big on mobile there. So what we're going to do. Um, do five percent on either side eight and then we'll take the button uh, size down a little bit the text for the phone do 21 and then we go back to spacing and just increase that back to 15 let's see okay tablet yeah 15 is good then because I forgot we had to decrease the size of the thing. All right, and if you want to decrease that size, you just go back up here, design text. And then you go to the phone. All right. So now you're down, your report is linked to that and people are, your, are on your email opt-in list. If you wanted to make this, you know, if you want to make this one row, you could do that because it is a little bit easier doing that. And then you just do this in the middle. All right. Okay guys, and actually I meant to, to do something else too. I meant to go back and record the uh, page you want to take this link here of this page and you want to go back in here you want to go to your opt-in and you want to go to design or you want to go to um, success action here and you want to put your link in there okay so you want to put your link in there optimize this one for mobile you just do the same thing that we did earlier just go up here and go to this and you can go to design and text and the phone make sure you're over the phone and go to whatever text size you want it to be. Same thing for here. The sizing, just go to your setting design, sizing, which that's 100%. Then let's see what the spacing is here. So right there, it's 64. That's why I design spacing. All right, let's just change this to six, actually, 
Control Z. Don't do that yet. We gotta do it on the phone only design. And spacing. Roll over the phone. And let's just do 16. And let's do 16. Actually, let's do 32 here. 32. Okay, and then on the button, let's go back to the button. Text size on the phone. Make it 21. All right, there's that. And then if you want to do that text size, that's a little bit big for the phone. We'll just go down. Actually, nope, exit out. Make sure you're over the phone. All right, now let's do this one on the phone. All right. All right, so now that one's edited for the phone. Okay. All right, so that's how that's how you can make an email opt-in or an email giveaway, ebook giveaway. That's how you make the page. And I hope you guys got some value out of this. And if you want some free layouts, go to divvyplanet.com. We got five free landing pages for you guys there. All right, I'll see you in the next video.